Here's how to make product shots go from this to this using Photo Room, and we're gonna cover a ton of examples. And we're gonna use the instant AI background. So let's jump in. The first thing you need to know is how does this all work? Let's take some pictures. So here, I'm just gonna use my phone and we're gonna take a few pictures. Now, one tip is to use the 2X or 3X or 5X mode because it'll compress the image more. And we're gonna use a bar of soap. So now you can see we've got all of our images and we're gonna make these actually look good. Let's use the photo room magic to actually make it look like a really nice product picture. So we're gonna download our three items here. This one is nice, this one is nice, and this one is nice. And we're gonna start creating. So all you have to do is drag and drop your image onto the web. Photo room will instantly remove the background for you, which is great. And you can resize it. So let's say for this, we actually want the Instagram version. So we're gonna click the resize button and here, what's really important, you just click Instagram story and you've got it. It's like literally so easy. We're gonna make this a bit smaller. Don't click backgrounds, click instant backgrounds. Because look, if we just add a simple background, that looks pretty bad. It's gonna take a couple seconds to load and it's gonna generate AI renderings. You can have these amazing studio shots. Now you saw me, I just took it on my kitchen table here, but you could have a shot like this it's fantastic. So we're gonna download this and you can see we really went from a boring picture on the table to something amazing. And you can click generate for more to just keep getting tons and tons of options. And let's say that, you know, the Instagram format is actually not what you want. You actually want this to be a YouTube thumbnail for some reason. You click to resize and then you just let the AI do the work for you. So here, I mean, it comes up with some really interesting stuff like a, a pink curtain but I also like this uh, approach of having it with the rose here. So here we have this white porcelain countertop and it's this very simple, but very modern look. Let's show some more options. How do we make soap look good and how do we make a candle look good? Let's jump in and say you're selling this on Poshmark or Etsy. Let's have a look at what it is like on Etsy. We're gonna type in candle. That's the one we're gonna do next. It's not just a white background. And if you're selling on eBay, if you're selling on Amazon, a white background is fine, but it's not gonna cut it if you wanna go up in the marketplace hierarchy. You really need something that pops, that has a nice, beautiful background. And our challenge is to do this in under 60 seconds. Again, we're gonna go back to our downloads folder. We have the candle here. At the end, I'm also gonna show you how to do all of these in under 20 seconds in a secret batch mode. But for now, we're gonna do them manually. So what we covered, we're gonna do the square. And we have the square, we're gonna resize it, we're gonna slightly center it, and then you're gonna click instant backgrounds because this is gonna let you go from a boring shot to something that you could put on Etsy, like all of these sellers who are selling literally thousands. So what do you think will work well on Etsy? I think we can do something nice. So you actually have AI suggestions in the top in the bottom left corner here. And you just have to click on a few and just explore. We let Photo Room be creative for you so you can see what it gives you. So I think this one in the bottom right is pretty nice. It gives that allure. You see it's even added the little contour here. And I think this is fantastic work. So we're gonna rename it Candle. There you go, we went from this to something that is frankly, I think better than some of these Etsy pictures in literally 10 seconds. And now we're gonna do our last product, which is the soap. We just drag and drop it and it's gonna remove the background for us. We can click resize to do the square. We can center it and click instant backgrounds. And now we need to get something that is rival an Etsy seller who sells soap. So. Let's see what kind of stuff they have here for us. So you can see they have this marble countertop look and I think we can do a better job on the marble countertop. You also have this coconut background. So let's see what photo room suggests us. So we wanna do marble. So there's actually a marble feature, marble countertop. So you can just click on that to recreate what the Etsy seller did, but without, I don't actually have a marble countertop, but we can recreate the same effect here. And you can always click generate for more while it's loading because when you click on it, what's going on is in the background, photo room is upscaling your image. So it looks nice when you post it on social media. So here you can see it's added a little bit of a reflection. It's got the nice veins of the marble. We've just improved our products here. And now we've got three images 
So let's have a look at everything we've done. So these were the three original photos that you see here. Boring, boring, and ultra boring. But now if you go to our downloads folder, we have the new soap, the new candle, and the new hand cream. And the hand cream, we did in all the different formats. And just look how good those look. And one last thing before we end the video is you're a busy person. You've got a lot of products to shoot, or maybe you just want more content. Here's how you can do it fast. So you're going to click batch. You're going to go to your folders and you're just going to drag and drop all three of your images. So we took these images together in real time. And now we're going to go, we're resizing all of them for the square. Now we're going to position them in the center. We're going to add more margin. And now we're going to add marble countertop to all of them. This is how you can automatically one, remove the background, two, resize it, two, center it, and four, add a cool looking product shot. Let's click on minimalist to get it a minimalist vibe. So something that works with any aesthetic. So you can do marble and you can keep recycling it until you have something that you like. This is a much faster way than doing it one by one that you saw. And it can save you a lot of time if you need to get 50 images and you need 50 product shots. And now we have it done. And look at that. We have three really nice photos. We're going to download them here. Now you've just learned how to turn any boring product into an amazing product shot using your laptop. You can also do this on your phone and you've learned how to do it one by one. You've learned how to resize them for Instagram or for Square, for Etsy. Make sure to leave a comment because the first 100 people that comment below will get a free three month code to Photo Room Pro. So I'll see you in the next video.